Hi guys, Sam here again from Upholstery Courses UK. We are going to thread the machine today. So I'm going to go through threading this walking foot lock stitch industrial machine. Um, for any of our ex students that have got this machine and struggle with threading, this will help you too. Okay, okay first of all, this is our cop holder. And it holds two cops, one for the bobbin, which we'll go through later, and the other one on the left hand side does your top stitch. So whatever colour is on that left hand side is the top stitch colour on your work. Okay. Okay, first of all, we're gonna thread our cops onto the cop holder. So anything that you're threading on here goes from behind. So you can turn this. And there's a little white plastic uh, bit. Um, take the thread from behind to the front on that cop, whichever one it is you're using, and pull it down. Same with that one, but we'll do that one later because that's for the bobbin. Okay. Next, we are going to thread through this tension bar. Okay, so most of the bars on these machines have some form of tension for your machine okay so some people use all of these holes some people just do two we sometimes do it from there over and into there so you've got that going on so you can see sometimes you can just do it that way, okay? Whichever way you do it, it doesn't matter too much on this part. If your tension is too loose throughout the machine, you can go back to this and add it to the next hole, okay? If you loop it over, it's gonna be tighter. If you have it going in and out of these, it'll be a little bit more loose but it will still be tighter if you use all three holes, okay? Okay, the next bit it goes to is this small tension disc with a bar, okay? Now this one is not your main one, your main one is here, but this one also does tension on both parts, on the bar and on the disc. Okay, and you can fine tune your tension with this disc. We'll go through that later. How you thread it is through there. Okay, and this one wraps round to this side. And then it's going to go like that. So it runs like that. And then it goes over this disc and into it. Okay, so just hold make sure it goes in the disc, hold it and just pull it, okay, and that puts it into the disc. Then you can see there's a hole there, it needs to go into that as well, on this stage. So, into there, like so, and that's that one threaded, okay. Okay, so the next stage is your thread comes down to this disc. And around like that, pull it so it goes into the disc. And then this piece here, take down. So what you're looking for is to be able to do this with your thread, with the thread tight enough inside this disc here. Okay, these two discs are your main tensioner. Okay, the only way to release these is to use the knee lift, and these two discs then loosen off. Okay, so you'll be able to pull your threads. If you let go, it goes tight again. Okay, so that's what you're looking for to be able to do that. If you do that, you've got the thread 
right, okay, because then you're going underneath here. So when you pull it again, the spring will move, okay. The next thing you're doing is you're going to go to this piece, okay. These two bars, like I said earlier, everything puts tension on your thread. These two bars, you can adjust the tension by moving these one end, that end, or in the middle. Okay, we use them how they are there because that's perfect for what we do. But if you've got problems with your tension, you need to look at everything. Okay, so that goes into there like that. Then there is this bar here. Okay, which you can see better as you turn it you can see it move you're looking for that it then goes through the hole in there okay make sure it doesn't catch them anything and then you're going down this side to the other piece okay so again if you pull out you can see that spring moving okay then we are going down to This piece here, okay, so down into there, then on this needle bar, there's a hole, okay. We need that thread to go into there, like that, okay. Last piece to do is. Thread it from left to right into the eye of your needle. Okay, remember, keep the threads from getting tangled in other things. Just make sure they're all clear. Okay, so just go through it again. From the cock, back. Front to plastic, okay. That's your top thread colour. Comes down to this tension bar. You can thread this over into three holes if you like, it's not wrong. You can thread it through, you can thread it through three flat like this, whichever um, works for you. Then to the next one, it goes in, round, over the disc down through here, side of this disc, make sure you take it all the way around, bring it back up, pull it, so hold on to the thread up here and the thread that you've pulled through there and then just make sure it sits in the disc okay, then it goes that way around the spring so that if you pull it, it does that. It goes underneath this bar, here, up through here, into that bar there, and down the other side, into this bar, into this bar, into the eye on top of the needle bar, and then left to right through the needle. And that's it. That's your machine threaded. Okay. Next time we'll be doing how to thread and load your bobbin.